Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip did not make Prince Charles feel very secure during his early years, claims a new documentary. Long before Princess Diana, Camilla Parker Bowles, and his children, Prince William and Prince Harry came along, a young Charles endured a rather challenging childhood. Prince Charles was born to sit on the throne but the Prince of Wales' early upbringing was not likely to make him feel very secure claims an explosive YouTube documentary. Speaking in the 2015 documentary, The Madness of Prince Charles, Dr. Bruce wrote, a psychotherapist said, the best parents praise and love and acknowledge and support and care for their child which gives them the ability to reach their potential. The narrator reports that psychologists claim the first five years of a child's life can make or break. But Charles' parents Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip were very busy. Penny Jr., a royal biographer claims there is no doubt the Queen adores and he adores her. But the Queen is a strange woman. She is not enormously tactile. She is really a woman who I think is much more into animals. The relationship between the Queen and her heir has been a source of much fascination and debate. Elizabeth's official royal duties began while her first two children were still quite young. The British monarch and Philip famously embarked on a six-month Commonwealth tour soon after her coronation and left Prince Charles and Princess Anne at home in England. According to historian Robert Lacey, who also served as an advisor for the Crown, the Queen believed it was better to leave the children in the care of nannies rather than drag them around the world. She had been brought up in that style herself, after all, with her parents leaving her at home and entrusting her entire schooling to a governess and home tutors, he told Town and Country in 2018. Netflix's 2018 documentary, The Royal House of Windsor, claims Charles was not close to the Queen growing up and was usually cared for house nannies and royal staff while his mother served as Queen of England. Speaking also in this documentary, Penny Jr. said, the Queen, to be fair to her, was being Queen. For most of Charles' childhood and the rest of his life, she was on a pedestal and he did not have a warm and cozy relationship with his mother. The Duke of Edinburgh also struggled to find time with his son as well. But when he did have downtime, Philip focused on teaching Charles how to fish and hunt. But their time together wasn't always pleasant. As royal biographer Sally Bedell Smith notes in 2017 biography Prince Charles, The Passions and Paradoxes of an Improbable Life, Charles was often belittled by his father's forceful personality. Philip worried his son was too soft, and feared he would become vulnerable and weak. As a result, Philip's alpha male tendencies were often seen as bullying. 